my stone portrait series is really um, sort of a new phase in my career. I've just developed this fascination with sort of paying homage to the art that inspired me to begin with. So in the last few years, I've, I've uh, worked on this series of paintings of ancient busts. They're usually busts that I've discovered in museums that, that have moved me for some reason or other. I think it's always a product of, of discovery. Like a lot of things in life, you're just strolling innocently through a gallery and wham, you know, love at first sight, <laughs> that sort of thing. As opposed to simple, faithful renderings, I've come to realize, partly from people's reactions, that I'm really putting a lot more of myself, a lot more emotion, a lot more an intensity of feeling in these paintings. The first in the series goes back to 2006. I was drawn to this bust of Augustus, and I'm very fortunate to own, actually, this very nice 19th century copy of, of one of the most popular portraits of Augustus. In the ancient world, many of the most famous statues were copied. Busts of famous people, especially the emperors, were copied quite a lot um, and carried to all of the different outposts of the Roman uh, Empire because they were symbols of political power as well as considered to be works of art. The book came about um, because uh, really going back to my childhood, uh, when you grow up in Tennessee, um, if you have right thinking parents, at some point they throw you in the car and take you to Nashville to see something called the Parthenon, which is the world's only full scale replica of the Parthenon in Athens. I just instantly became fascinated with all things Greek, Greek art and architecture and history and really set me on a course for the rest of my life, as I grew older, I became ambitious to, to paint Greek mythology. And I got to know the director of the Parthenon, and I told her my very moving story of my early childhood. And she said, oh, we should have a show of your Greek mythology paintings. We produced a, a lovely catalog of the show. A photographer, book producer, saw this catalog and said, hey, you know, let's expand this into a whole book. It's, it's pretty apparent that every human generation has found great meaning in classical aesthetics, Greek mythology in particular. Every generation has reinterpreted this influence in a completely different way. And my question was, why can't I do that also? Of course, I was told that I wasn't to do that <laughs> by the prevailing modernist uh, academy and that it was irrelevant and invalid and but my heart told me that it wasn't irrelevant or invalid and that it was the right thing for me to do so I just decided to do it whether anyone wanted me to or not. My most recent portrait is this Hellenistic general which I discovered in the Roman galleries at the Metropolitan Museum of Art here in New York. It's the most damaged and battered bust that I've painted, but in spite of that, a real humanity comes through, right through the ages and right through the violence he's experienced. You could say that this represents the, the world we're living in today with all of the terrible violence and, and destruction all around us and seemingly on the rise. And I hope the message this bust is giving us is that, that humanity survives.